Hello one and all, it's Mickey. I've been asked on a few occasions to make a video showing how to install Longwall. Now for most of you, this might be useless and or pointless, but I'll also be covering troubleshooting when the installation goes wrong, and any modding post-installation that I do. Oh, and before you cynics yell foul in the comments below, or worse, I had to update Longwall and perform these modifications anyway, so I figured I'd record them and help some people out. So let's get started. First things first, you need to download it. You can get it from the Long War page on the Nexus Mods site. Type in your search browser, Nexus XCOM, and the first link will be the XCOM page at the Nexus. From there you can click on Long War in the Hot Files panel, or on the search button on the top right and search for Long War. From there, scroll down and head to the Files section, and you can download the latest version of Long War, currently Beta 15. Click Download manually, and then save it to your computer wherever you usually download files or in my case, Horde files, as you can see here. Wow, Beta 7, I'm surprised I don't have any older than that. Anyway, open it up. Yes, I'm sure I want to run the program I double clicked on. Okay, now if this is the first time you're installing the Long War mod, you'll have to show it where XCOM lives on your machine. If you're uncertain, you can open up Steam, right click on XCOM, select Properties, click on the Local Files tab at the top of the new window, and then Browse Local Files. For Enemy Within, the folder you're looking for is XCW. That's where the Long War installer needs to be pointed to. After that, select the language and click Next. You can review what you've just selected and then click Install. Ugh, Long War, why do you take so long to install? You'd think your thousands of changes wouldn't take this long. Oh no, wait, it's done. Now it's finished, you can click, well, Finish, and head over to your Steam Games Library and then launch the game. Oh, and if anybody knows how to fix the launch image not fitting properly, write it in the comments below, because it's been driving me crazy. Ah, the horror. Don't worry, this is completely normal when you install or update Long War. The first time you run it, you'll get that error, and all you have to do is launch the game again. Uh, just don't tell past me, because he may have forgotten when he was recording this video. Luckily, he's persistent, and it all works out. And... Long War in the flesh. Now whether you're updating or installing for the first time, Long War may reset your graphics settings. So don't forget to switch them back to whatever you had before. And for those of you who haven't installed Long War Beta 15 yet, there's a couple new second wave options for you to check out. But more importantly, in case some of you didn't know, check out all those lovely new starting locations each with its own unique starting bonus. And for those of you that have already seen what the new bonuses are, write in the comments below your recommendation for Series 2. And now for troubleshooting. I'm not going to lie, I don't have a great deal of experience fixing problems with Long War, because honestly I haven't really encountered many. In fact, none at all when it comes to installing the mod. But I'll do my best to go through what the Long War team recommends when things go wrong. If you've ever modified XCOM yourself or installed mods, Step 1. Verifying the integrity of your local game files. Right click XCOM on your Steam Games Library, click Properties, and then the Local Files tab. Then click Verify Integrity of Game Cache. Now, I'm not actually going to do this because I don't want to screw up my installation. But doing this will reset your game back to defaults as well as all its settings. Now don't worry, you won't lose your saved games, but they're not going to be compatible with Long War anyway. Generally, this is the first thing you'll want to try when the installation goes wrong. Next step is disabling any antivirus software you've got on. This will vary depending on the antivirus program you've got, so you're going to have to look online to find out how to temporarily disable it. Step 3. Make sure you've got the latest version of Net Framework. For that, simply search in your internet browser, Net Framework, and the first link will take you to Microsoft's download page. Then click Download, and once you've got it, you're good to install. Step 4. Run the installer. Well, I imagine most of you have tried that by now. 5. When you set the install path, the installer may give you a warning that you're about to overwrite a folder. If you don't get that warning, you're either in admin mode, or you may be installing in the wrong location. Something to be aware of. 6. When you run the game for the first time after installing Long War, you'll receive a crash to desktop. Nothing to be alarmed of, as I did, just run the game again. 7. XCOM will need to be in a language supported by Long War. If it's in a language other than English, Spanish or French, you'll have to change XCOM's language setting by heading over to Steam, right clicking XCOM, clicking Properties, then selecting the Language tab at the top, then choosing the language you installed Long War as. For now, English, Spanish and French are the only three languages Long War supported in, but more are being worked on as time goes on. If you're still having problems, here are a few more things you can try. 
Now, like everything else, you do this at your own risk. So do feel free to make backups of any files you intend to delete. Search your C drive or whatever drive you have Windows on for XCOM. Now, please note, this isn't the installation directory. This is where the game puts your save data and config files. Head to the folder I'm looking at right now, XCOM game config, and delete all the files inside. The next time you load XCOM, the game will create default versions of these files. If you load up the game and you're still having problems, you can make sure that you don't have these three uncompressed files. You can find them by heading to your installation directory. If you don't know where it is, and you really should by now, in Steam right click XCOM, properties, local files, browse local files. Now head to XCW, XCOM game, and cooked PC console. Then check that you don't have the uncompressed versions of XCOM game, XCOM strategy game, and engine. If you do have uncompressed versions of those files, make backups and then delete them. Now if you're still having problems, you can try deleting your profile file. You can find that in the same location you looked earlier, where the save data and config files are. Except this time you look in the save data folder instead of the config folder. Grab the profile file, make a backup and then delete it. Last thing you can try is reinstalling the mod. If you're still having problems, you'll have to head to the Long War forums at the Nexus. And before any of you pirates ask, no Long War won't install the cracked version of the game. During installation, Long War checks XCOM's executable file to make sure it's up to date and doesn't cause any compatibility issues. And if your game's cracked, then that file will be the wrong version. Sorry pirates. Now for those of you who've got legit versions but aren't running Steam, not entirely sure how or why you would, I highly recommend running the game through Steam. That way you know the game's up to date and any problems you have aren't going to be the version number. And now the modifications that I make to the game. First starting with the soldier's class uniform colour. The ones I use are sniper's blue, scout's black, rocketeer red, gunner yellow, medic orange, engineer purple, assault green and infantry white. And the file you can find these in is called default game core. And you can find it in your installation directory, XCW, XCOM game and then head into the config folder. Once in the file do a search for initial soldier appearance. And this is where you can change your soldier's class colour. And then with a little bit of editing, you can change them to whatever colour you want them to be. You can find a list of all the colour codes in the Long War installation directory in a file called Long War EW Armour Kit Codes. Or on the screen now. Oh, and don't forget to change the category called Defender Med Kit, as this is your soldier's default rookie colour. I just set mine to 1. The next thing I changed, just for the sake of variety, are the mission names because I've been playing XCOM for a long time and the mission names are getting a bit stale. You can find the file you need to change in the installation directory, XCW, XCOM game, localization, and whatever language you've got the game installed in. For me, that'll be int. Open it up, and don't worry, what you're seeing on the screen is me accessing my shortcut to the file. Search for XG mission, or if you want to be difficult like me, first op, and this is where the mission name generation takes place. And here you can rename or delete them to your heart's content. But whatever you do, make sure each line is numbered sequentially as you see. And also, don't go over 99, or the game will revert to a hard-coded default list. I might release a file with my version of the mission names, but I haven't decided yet. If I do, there'll be an annotation on the screen now, telling you you can find a link to it in the description below. And in case you're wondering, below that is where the game stores all of its unique mission names. Like everything else, feel free to edit them as much as you want, at your own risk. Next, I change the name list. You can find it in the installation directory, XCW, XCOM game, and in config. And the files at the top called default name list. Wow, look at all the nationalities Long Wars added. This might take a while. And here's one I made earlier. If you want to use my name list, look in the description below, and it will show you where to download it from on the Nexus. Now the last thing I modify is the Burke tree or more specifically the ability to reveal the whole perk tree, regardless of a soldier's rank. Now some of you might scream that I'm cheating, but seeing the perk tree is common knowledge, and subject to change, I think it's just a matter of convenience. So head over to the Nexus, and search for this mod, LW Reveal Perk Tree, by Atomic. Go to the Files section, and download the latest version. Once you've got it saved somewhere safe, you can start the next step. To install it, you'll need a patcher, and you can find it by searching for UPK Utils, by WGhost81, Head to the Files section, and download the latest version of Patcher GUI. Once you've got both files, unzip them. Then copy the Reveal Perk Tree file into the Patcher GUI's mods folder. Then launch Patcher GUI. Yes, I'm sure I want to open the program I just double clicked on. Then tell it where XCOM lives. The folder you're looking for is XCW. Next, you have to tell it what mod you want to install. Select it from the mods folder. 
and then you're good to go. Click apply. And then that's it. Close it down and launch the game. And there you have it. Berktree's revealed. And absolutely fine, working as intended. So thanks to W Ghost, Atomic and the Longwall team. I hope this helps some of you and I'll see you all in the next video.